Grade limit site modifiers limit the area of a site model that can be affected by other site modifiers. They can be thought of as limits of construction. On most sites, there is an area where you would not want to grade, such as past a tree line or around existing structures. Grade limits are used to restrict grading to within set boundaries. Let's take a look at a simple example to start. Here we have a pad site modifier applied to the site. The pad is affecting contours out in all directions. If we want to limit the effects of this pad, we'll need to create a grade limit site modifier. This can be drawn directly using the site modifier tool or generated from existing objects. To begin, let's draw a grade limits modifier that is slightly larger than our pad using the site modifier tool. Start by activating the tool in the site planning tool set, then change to the grade limits mode. Now we just need to draw the grade limits using the polyline modes. Just like pads, we need to make sure the grade limits object is set to apply to either the existing or the proposed model. In this case, our pad is applied to the proposed model, so we will set the grade limits to the same. Now we just need to update the site model to see the changes. The site model will now update, and the effect of the pad is reduced to within the boundary of the grade limits. In addition to drawing grade limits directly with a site modifier tool, they can be generated in a few other ways as well. The create objects from shapes command can be used to generate a grade limits modifier from another shape, just like we can do with a pad, hardscape, or many other objects as well. In addition to drawing the object directly, we can also use the existing pad to generate the grade limits. This can be done in two ways using the offset tool from the basic palette, or by using the create grade limits from pad command. Using the offset tool with the duplication and offset mode enabled, we can create a duplicate of the pad and add an offset distance. Then we simply change the configuration of this site modifier through the object info palette. This is a quick way to generate a grade limits that is the same basic shape as the pad and at a set distance from the pad. Now the create grade limits from pad command that I mentioned a few moments ago has some additional options. This command is found in the landmark menu or if using the designer workspace under AEC terrain. This command gives us the choice of creating the grade limits at a set distance or based off a batter slope. The batter slope option will create a variable offset based on the slope. The max offset sets the maximum distance the grade limits will be from the pad. Slope definition can be set to angular, rise over run, or percent. Max slope sets the maximum allowable slope. The slope control options will increase the uniformity of the slope. Enabling midpoints and smaller increment distance will increase the accuracy of the slope calculations but will increase the time required to generate the grade limits. After the grade limit object is generated, we will need to update the site model to see the changes. Using this method creates a nice clean slope. Just like pads, there are a few common rules to keep in mind when creating grade limits. First, whenever the site is being graded, a grade limits should be created to limit the effect of those changes. Grade limits can overlap, but cannot be contained completely within another. Gray limits should not cross a pad or a spoil pile modifier. These configurations will cause modifier conflicts and will result in errors in the model. This concludes our chapter on grade limit site modifiers. Remember, anytime you're grading a site using pads or other site modifiers, you always want to restrict the grading with a grade limits object.